it's Alyssa, back with another speed paint video after like a month of not posting. I already had this footage ready to go, so I thought it would be a good warm up to get back into the groove of making stuff again, now that I'm like almost fully moved into my new place. This is a Minnie Mouse speed paint I created as a gift for my niece who's turning one this year. She loves this Minnie Mouse stuffed doll that my grandma got her, and so her birthday party theme this year is Minnie Mouse. So just a very simple, straightforward kind of speed paint video this week. Uh, the process of this is very much the same as my other Pokemon pieces on my channel, where I went in and, you know, starting with a base of a sketch, I separated the different main colors of the image into their own separate layers. Like the dress is its own layer and shape, the bow is its own layer and shape. And then by locking those layers, alpha locking those layers, um, you can go in with any colors or brushes you want and it will retain the shape that you've made. Pretty straightforward process. The brushes I'm using, by the way, are all from the Jing Sketch Ultimate paint set. I think there's a link in the description below for an affiliate link if you guys are interested. Though if you guys don't want to get new brushes for whatever reason and want to use default Procreate brushes, I highly recommend for the, the line art, the outlines I do in this piece, using the 6B pencil brush, which is standard with Procreate. And also use that 6B pencil brush to create your shapes, because if you zoom into the shapes of Mini here, you can kind of see that uh, fuzzy edge. Like it's not completely smooth and perfect the way like a vector shape would be. It's got a little bit of grit and texture to it. And for a while I had a really funky color scheme, like Minnie's got a bright pink face and whatever. Those are just placeholder colors. Sometimes I get really weird with colors, like I'll have to change work in progress work for clients because my placeholder colors will be just like terrible to look at. <laughs> like I'll have lime green up against uh, bright yellow up against pure blue and it, it just looks like a mess, but it's just something I laid down really, really quickly um, while I was creating the shapes, like in this image. At least this always had a monochromatic look and it wasn't that heinous to look at except for Minnie's weirdly sunburnt face, but I go in and change that pretty quickly. And while I was really happy with the final result of this piece and everything and the art print turned out great, I'll have to take a picture and put it on my Twitter um, when I get to see it in person when I'm uh, back in town for my niece's birthday party, of course. I ordered the art print and I'm sure it's going to be great in a frame and on her wall and all that, but I kind of do like the flat monochromatic mini I had before I went in and added all the shading and all that kind of stuff. There's something about that kind of flat look that I think is kind of trendy right now and kind of in very like children's book illustration style. I don't know, I kind of like it and I kind of want to do um, a flat piece for something I want to work on in the future. So yeah, just a super basic speed paint video to get back into the groove of uh, posting stuff on a weekly basis or even bi-weekly basis as opposed to a monthly basis. I'm hoping I have some more cool finished art to show you guys that's a little bit more in-depth than just a, uh, a simple character like Minnie Mouse on a simple background like this. I am still working on a Super Mario 64 themed piece I had mentioned on Twitter like a week or two ago. I'm still finishing that piece, so I'm hoping that will be uh, the next video I post because that should come out pretty cute. I'm pretty excited about that one actually. And since this is a video featuring artwork made for my niece, I thought I would just say that this first year of being an aunt has been really cool. It's been really amazing to watch this little kid grow. And I know everybody who's like already an aunt or an uncle can relate or already a parent can relate, but it's something I've never experienced firsthand before. I've seen, you know, my friend's kids grow up indirectly, but it's really cool to be there to watch like this little person learn how to walk and make her first little noises and say words and she blows my mind every day like I was there visiting not too long ago and we were watching some like sing-along thing where it says clap your hands and I swear she said clear as day she was like clap clap and started clapping her hands and it just like blew my mind like little stuff like that has been really amazing to watch happen in real time and I'm hoping memories like that I can share with her when she's older and like show her videos like this, you know. And if my niece is watching this video right now with me or whatever, um, hello, this is your aunt from the year 2021. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get old enough that we can like go to theme parks and go to museums and do cool stuff together. Uh, baby you is very cool, very adorable, very awesome, but I am very much looking forward to like watching Disney movies and taking you out for ice cream and all that cool stuff, so... Hope to do that with you pretty soon, but not too soon. Don't speed it up. 
super quick video this week, but I hope you guys like the speed paint. Let me know what characters you'd like to see in this style moving forward, and I can do some fun and interesting like Disney pieces with multiple characters interacting, or more crossover pieces with like Nintendo and Disney, or whatever you guys think would be cool. Definitely let me know in the comments below, and I'll add it to my to-do list for future videos. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day.